Hi everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. In this video we're going to be looking at how to do some essential updates on your Octoprint Raspberry Pi and how to make it safe to have in your household. Let's have a look. Octoprint has changed the way that many of us interact with 3D printers in our home and the small business environment, and it's constantly developing and evolving. Unfortunately, the way that hackers access our devices and our data is also constantly evolving, and the Raspberry Pi can be a key component of how they do that. The Raspberry Pi can be a gateway into our local network, and once they've got access to that, they can watch you through your security cameras, access bank details through your computer, or even turn on the hot end of your printer. So obviously you want to protect yourself against this. And the best way to do that is to make sure that everything is updated. When you update, it downloads the latest patches and will protect you against the latest vulnerabilities that they've become aware of. Now you might be, when you are on Octoprint, clicking on the update button on there when it pops up with a notification and you're updating Octoprint as often as possible. Whilst that is very good and it is an important step, Octoprint is just a bit of software running on the Raspberry Pi and it's not updating the Raspberry Pi itself. What you need to do is update the Raspberry Pi OS operating system. Luckily, that's a really easy thing to do and you can do it from any computer connected to your local network. So we'll take you through step by step on how to do that right now. Now the first thing to do is download and install an SSH client to your computer. If you're on Windows, I recommend Putty, which you can just download from putty.org and then just download it from here. If you're on a Mac, then I recommend you can just use Terminal on your Mac, um, which basically does the same job. Now, before we continue, make sure that you've got your Raspberry Pi's IP address. If you don't know it, log into your router and you should be able to see a list of your connected devices and it'll be listed somewhere in there. Uh, you'll also need the username and password that you log into your Raspberry Pi with. Now, note that this isn't necessarily the same username and password that you use for Octoprint, but you may have used the same. By default, the username is Pi, P-I, and the password is Raspberry. Uh, the username is almost definitely still Pi. It's recommended not to change that, but your password will be whatever you selected. If you can't remember the username and password for your Pi, there are ways to change it, but you'll need to look up how to do that online. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, but I may do a tutorial on specifically that in the future. If you're using a Mac, open up Terminal by typing Terminal into the search box, and then type in SSH space your username at and then the IP address of your Raspberry Pi then click enter. Now enter the password for your Raspberry Pi. Although you're typing, the characters probably won't appear here. And that's it, you're logged in. Now if you're using a Windows computer, just open PuTTY and type in either the IP address or the host name into this box here. So if I've got it set up as cruiser.local, and that's the same as adding the IP address there. So for the rest of this video, I'll be recording it on a Windows computer, but regardless of whether you're on Windows or Mac, the process will be exactly the same. So the next step you want to do is log into your Raspberry Pi. So enter your username and then your password. So the next step is to enter sudo space apt space update, and then click enter. It may or may not ask you for a password at this point, but if it does, just re-enter your password and click enter. Once that's done, the next step is to enter sudo space apt space full hyphen upgrade, and then click enter. It may or may not ask for a password again, but if it does, enter the password and then click continue. Now it'll ask you uh, after this operation, 23.8 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. This is never going to really be an issue. So type in a Y and click enter. This will then start the update. This can take a little while depending on the size of the update. It might only take a couple of minutes, but it might take five to 10 minutes. Um, so uh, give it a bit of time to run through this. 
it will finish when it basically says that it's completed and it will give you a line to enter more code if you need to. Once that's done, just type sudo reboot and hit enter. And that's it. It'll reboot your Raspberry Pi and then it's updated and complete. Once it's rebooted, if you head to Octoprint, it may ask you to log in again, but your installation and settings should all be still there and working fine. Well, I hope that's helped you update the OS on your Raspberry Pi and made your home just a little bit more secure. They release an update roughly four times a year, so I'd suggest doing this around every three months, but you can see when they last did an update on their website, and I'll pop a link to that in the description below. If you've got any comments or questions, don't forget to pop that below. Otherwise, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much.